Yo, what is going on guys? Episode number five of the Deka Street. We are ending off with having two points on our team, as well as last episode acquiring Grabner and Sod. And the previous episode, if you guys haven't seen that, we got Bufflin. Anyway, we're moving on into this episode with our goalie, Robin Leonard, who his stats look good. I'll be honest, nine and one, 1 1.78, nine save percentage, which that could be improved. He's had some pretty bad games lately. And this game is, uh, you guys are going to see what happens. So there's a pretty bad defensive play on my part. Anyway, so with the addition of Grabner, I know some people were happy got him and so they're like hey he's a really good player some people might be like why did you just not like get a bigger player better player what i want to do is basically build my team up make all my like third fourth liners a lot better so obviously i'm not going to have 40 points i can't just upgrade to like a crosby eventually i might want to have like a superstar player like i have that kessel now but that's what i basically want to do for this is just build my bottom guys up to have like a really balanced team as you guys saw in the first period the shots were seven to five and he had three for five and i was one for seven so leonard was uh not having a great game again my defense wasn't so great but we are three two right now and we're just destroying this guy. We had so many more shots than him. We're just outplaying him in that period by far. We got three unanswered goals to make us get the lead finally. The third period though, ugh, I don't know what I was doing. As you guys could see, I have a five on three I have to kill. And then that's just a squeaker. Like that is not a good goal to let in Leonard. Just, I don't know what happened there. And then later on in the period, I, I was playing bad defense and then it was just like a wide open, basically cross crease. So I'll give him that. With 20 seconds left, not gonna expect to do much right. Brandon Sod's right here and he's gonna go to the backhand. He's gonna tie the game up with the 16 seconds we have finally tied the game up and now we have some confidence going over time okay then oh no god no god please no 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 well, that's how that game went, and there goes our point. So we end up losing that game in overtime. The game was, in my opinion, I mean, I did make some crucial defensive mistakes, giving him two-on-one, stuff like that. But we did outshoot the guy by a bunch. The third period was just a terrible play, and the first period by our goalie was terrible. We move into this game, get a quick 2 nothing lead, and this kid is out. We get a 2 nothing shutout win, and there goes two points for our thing. So we're back up to three points now. So we've got some move. Maybe we'll make some moves in this episode. You guys will have to wait and find out. Anyway, moving into the next game, we get a one nice one-goal lead and then we make it the worst play okay. of all time right there. I don't know what I was doing. Just, I've been scoring pretty much when I play like online. I've been playing some friends here and there and I can't score there, but online I've been able to score fine. It's just my defense has been really, really bad lately. Just make some really stupid mistakes. Giving up as goalie, turnovers, just that's got to change. I got to get better at that. I don't know what's not going to my head sometimes when I'm just throwing out with my goalie and stuff like that. This guy makes the same mistake I was just talking about. Gives it right to Forsberg, literally right to Forsberg. That is an easy goal to make it 3-2 and with 30 seconds left, what do you know? Give him an easy goal because my defense is just sloppy all over the place. With 14 seconds left, maybe we have a chance to win it here? Goudreau to Grabner, back to Goudreau, and there would be it. Eight seconds left. This guy was not happy about that winning. Dude, you fucking suck. And so it still goes into the book as... Yeah. But there's a win and there's another point. We have four points and we're actually gonna make a pretty big move here. I just need to get a new goalie in here. Wanted to get Rene, didn't have the points. So instead we're trying Semyon Varlamov. Semyon Varlamov, welcome to the Deka Street. Cause I'm leaving on the jet plane. I don't know when I'll be back again. Oh babe, I hate to go. Fire from my jet pay Come along for the ride, yeah Cause you know we fly And you know we get you high, yeah uh, I get it And you know they get to spite it uh, Sitting all day waiting for my flight out on United Supposed to be in Chicago You know we there No, we ain't supposed to be yet on O'Hare But you know in there we ain't We are still chilling at the crib Singing I'm in that studio And assisting bitches Like I was looking out like Ricky Rubio With my black down flow When I get it No win every time that I kill Got skills Especially when I'm on my mic And drinking that Bush Mills And no, I take it Yeah, seeing that I didn't drop it Yeah, they don't think I'm freestyling Unless I got some topics So let me just go explain it Cause I'm pissed off now Yeah, see you on the other side When it's flight <laughs> That you wait for me Hold me like you never let me go Like you never let me I'm go
After picking up Varlamov, I had high expectations for him. I don't remember using him last year or actually playing anyone who used Varlamov, so I was a little bit unsure. This game, we're going up someone who has Eddie Lack, who's 5 and 1. Varlamov, 0 0 0. First game, first impressions for me. We're going to start off this game by his pretty bad turnover from his goalie, just throwing it out. And Kessel's just going to slide this one home. Kessel, again, is a very, very, very good player in this game. Defensively, checking wise, just not the greatest player. Offensively, speed, shooting, just very, very good. Top player I've used anyway this year. He gets a pretty questionable call, I guess. Why after watching the review, it wasn't actually above the crossbar, so we'll give him that. And then Mike Green just gonna slap that one home. That was a nice goal, in my opinion. Mike Green hasn't really done much for this team, and again, his goalie terrible play by him, just throwing out in front. We got a win. Varlamov had a pretty good game, not too great, didn't have too many shots against him. So we got a one point. Varlamov's second game going against the guy who I actually wanted to get in the first place, Pekka Rene. This guy had a Pecorine, and I was going up against him in the first place. He was really good last year. Thought he would be good this year. Didn't have the points for him. Didn't want to wait another game because I just couldn't trust Leonard. He's just been playing pretty bad, in my opinion. We're going to go up against this game. Bad turnover. That's a pretty squeaky goal, if you ask me. And the, I didn't want to show too many highlights. But basically, this game was beyond frustrating. We ended up tying the game halfway through the third period. It would go with 50 seconds left. Bad defensive play by me and a bad goal by Varlamov to give up and the shots for this game. I'm, I, I don't know what to say. The shots were 41 to 18 and I lost. I only got one goal on Pecorine. I was so shocked that we couldn't score more than one after lately we've been scoring some pretty good goals. We got 41 shots. Many of them hit the post. This guy right here is the reason why we lose the game. Pecorine. Back to my ways. People always ask how I got my nice things. Take my crown to the grave. I'm an underground king. I bet we can make tonight the greatest story ever told. Cause I'm down to spell whatever lately I've been.